What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is moving day. I'm moving out of my apartment downtown in Dallas to a home in Frisco. I'm so excited. I packed everything up last night and this morning. I literally only got four hours of sleep last night and the night before just because of stress and also because we're moving so like everything is just chaotic as you can see i have boxes in the back of my car but i drive a two-door coupe and it's so inconvenient trying to put stuff in here like i was literally on my hands and knees trying to put that box in the back of my car so frustrating but we hired movers to come so they are coming i think to my place within the next 30 to 45 minutes because everything's packed up i don't have anything like available to like cook or whatever so i stopped at la la land and got some avocado toast Holy chili flakes, holy F, okay. And then I also got a latte, almond milk latte with one pump of mocha. That is so much chili flakes though, and I don't really do spice like that, so that's scaring me. Jeez Louise, she's a little spicy. Ooh, no thank you. Mm -mm. Y'all, that's so much chili flakes. It just really didn't need that much. You're trying to kill me, bro. We're in the new place. It's literally 7 p.m. right now. Duke is very excited and I unpacked most of the kitchen and Jay just ordered me food so I'm eating whatever this is. I don't know. It's like a chicken sandwich I think with avocado and onion and then I'm dipping it in this tzatziki sauce. It's so good. Duke, come here. I haven't ate since breakfast so this is so good right now. Duke is like too amped too that he didn't even eat breakfast this morning and he ate like half of his dinner. So all he had today was like half of one serving of food. Here's the beginning of the next chapter of us. Through the ups and downs, through thick and thin, I'll always be committed to you. I dyed my hair a little bit darker this morning, so that's why it looks different. I love it though, because when I dyed it before, I had blonde underneath, and when they did like the semi-permanent glosses over, it started to fade really quickly, and then also get a little bit red because of the blonde. But now we have a bunch of layers of the gloss, so I feel like it's pretty sealed, and I don't know, I love it. It's so dark, but it's gonna lighten up, obviously, because it is semi-permanent. I just love the way it looks. Update number one, we got a kitchen table. This one we got from Nebraska Furniture Mart and it's just like this black, dark wood. And then these chairs, which kind of match our living room chairs actually. Also, I moved this mirror right here and I don't know if I should keep it here. I feel like it's a little bit of a weird spot, but it's because the natural light is just coming this way. So it's shining on you and the lighting is really good in the mirror then. Because it was right there, but that was just not a good spot because then the back lighting is all of the window light coming in, which was not the move. Also, I got my nails done for like the first time in a year for Valentine's Day. So cute. All of these boxes need to be opened and everything needs to be assembled. So we have like a coffee table that's here. We have a media council that's coming that I don't think is going to be here for another couple of days actually. I think that's like the last thing to come. But we have like the master bedroom rug and then an entryway table, a runner to go down this hallway. So I just need to set everything up. Okay, so yesterday we ended up putting together a lot of things, but it took longer than expected. So we were like putting together things all night. Not we, Jay was putting together everything. So first of all, he put together this massive coffee table. I wanted a huge one because our couch is really big and I wanted it to fill up the space. So I think this looks really nice. And it's like a darker wood material. I definitely need some black decor just to tie everything together here. And then this is the media stand that we got for um, below the TV. I'm kind of second guessing the media stand that we got because I feel like I should have gotten an all black one to match all of the black accents all around this house because 
our main core colors are black and white. Something I feel like is a little bit off with the living room, but I think it'll be better once I get like some black accents in here and just tie everything together with decor. I think maybe it's like I need some pillows on the couch, a blanket, maybe some art or something on that wall. I think that's what it is. It's different because this coffee table is so massive. I don't know, I wanted a little bit of warmth in the living room. That's why I got the dark wood coffee table instead of a black one. I like it, it fills the space really nicely, but I overthink everything. So please let me know what you think of like this whole situation or if you like it. I think I just need decor. If we walk in here, this is the master bed. And let me tell you, it is not done yet at all. It looks so empty, but we have like the creams and the whites and then the blacks again. But I need to get another nightstand for my side of the bed. I think I'll just get a black one to tie in like the headboard in Jay's nightstand. And then I got this like fuzzy little, what's this called? bench i guess and it has some space in here so i like that and then duke was jumping on our bed so that's why the bed looks horrible but i made it so nicely before so i got this like pink and sage like light green and tan colored rug because i wanted to do some greenery and some wood accents as well this entire place like i said is black and white but also i wanted to tie in like wood in natural tones so greenery plants stuff like that if that makes sense do you guys catch my vibe lots of black lots of neutrals wood light green because of the greenery so like this rug has a little bit of green hopefully that's not too much i didn't want the whole house to be black and white you know so just tying in like little colors or different vibes throughout the whole house i feel like would pull it all together and make it feel cohesive so definitely want to get some more plants i'm really excited because i love plants and it just feels so like refreshing in here when we have fresh plants like real plants not fake ones the bathroom is just bathroom and then we have our closet that we finally kind of organized and have everything in here we had to add another rod in the closet because we have so much clothes but i really like this bathroom and i'm so happy because we have a tub definitely need to get some more pillows so we're working on it this space we're super confused what we're gonna do because it is kind of a layout of a dining room with like the light and whatever. But we have a kitchen table and we don't need another table. We are like, what's the point of that? And I had my couch for my apartment. So I was like, I'll just put that in that space for now. And the people before us who lived here actually made this like a lounge area. So they had a sofa and a chair and maybe even a bookcase or something. So we were like, we can just make that like a little lounge area. We have a massive couch in the living room. So we don't know what to do with this space. Maybe just have like a bookshelf here. I don't want to put another TV. We don't need another TV. I really, we don't know what we're doing here at all. If you guys have any racks, let me know. Like maybe put Duke's cage out here. No. The last box that we have to put together that we have not yet is this side table. It's a wood table. It's pretty basic. Um, got it off of Amazon. It's cute. It's like a different design, but like basic wood, whatever. And I got like the light green and tan rug runner to go from the front door to like a little bit past my office right here. And I think I hate it. I feel like it's too long and it just doesn't fit the vibe. So I think I'm gonna return it and get something else, but I don't know if I should get like a short rug that just goes at like the foyer, like the square area, and then just have like the side table right here in this little section. But also Jay accidentally put this chair in the wrong spot. This is my office area. This chair is actually gonna go right by the wood entryway table. Are you guys understanding what I'm trying to go for? Like natural wood, a little bit of green. This is a wood entryway table. And then the carpet was gonna be like a beige color, off white with a little bit of green, but it looks like yellow and the green is too green. You know what I mean? Like it needs to be way more faded than this. I'm not loving it. So let me know your thoughts. If I should just do like a square carpet, if I should just do like a little tiny welcome mat, like what the F I should do. And then the other bedrooms are kind of like miscellaneous. Like that's just a guest bed that I don't really care about right now. Obviously we'll get to it but I just want to like get the main sections in this house down and then we'll move on to like the guest bed and the other like fun things I guess because I want to make this house like complete if you guys have been watching my YouTube video and you were here when I was in my apartment I did not make it complete whatsoever I got the bare minimum and I just like didn't really care because I knew I was gonna move out in a year and if you don't decorate your house within the first month or your apartment, wherever you're moving, it's not gonna get decorated. Like you're not, you're not gonna decorate it. Let's be real. 
so i was like jay like the first four weeks we're gonna get everything put everything together get everything in here so it feels homey and cozy and like i don't know i just need need that homey feeling again because i've been in an apartment for the past three years with college and then living on my own for a year now i'm back in a house living with somebody again besides my family um so i'm happy like i'm so happy to be here and i'm so glad that we're in a home with a garage and a yard so so that's a little update and i need your guys's help finishing this place honestly like i feel like i'm not very good with decor and design really i don't know like the kitchen i could put together easy and it looks so good but everything else it's like kind of complicated so help me please in the comments let me know your thoughts and like anything like tell me if something is ugly and rancid please but I'll definitely make an updated home video because obviously we have a lot of work to do still. But for now, I'm just going to close out this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wouldn't be here without y'all. You literally mean the world to me. And thank you so much for 5K. We're at 5K subs. But I love y'all and I will see you next time.